this is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, July 9th, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rain throughout the southern provinces. The jet stream and position of the tropopause identifies the areas of highest risk of fallout to be from Sudbury through Quebec over the next 72 hours. In the U.S., Radar from IntelliCast shows scattered rain throughout the southern half of the U.S. The jet stream position is currently over the Great Lakes, moving into northern New England over the next three days. The tropopause coincides heavily with Alaska, Maine, and an area offshore of Seattle. These would be the areas of highest concern. There is also possible risk of core exit rain out along the southern coastal areas from Texas through Florida. In Europe, Radar imagery from satellite Europa shows water vapor bands will coincide with areas of rain for the following countries over the next three days. Scotland, Ireland, the UK, Denmark, Norway, Finland, and Sweden. Over the weekend, very high readings of 240 times background were recorded in Devon, England. Nuclearcrimes.org is reporting that there is a growing concern for seafood products being contaminated with radiation. Both North America and the European Union has not been testing imported foods from Japan for plutonium or radiostrontiums. In early April of 2011, the EU began putting into practice new policies for provisionally adopting Japan radiation thresholds in order to provide consistency with export and import controls. The EU also organized Japan's food imports into two categories imported foods from the most contaminated areas and from the least contaminated areas. The EU's policy was that it would more or less trust Japanese authorities that exports do not contain radiation levels that exceed standards. A simulation from German oceanographers released July 9th also show radioactive water from the reactors in Japan could reach the U.S. West Coast in the next five to six years, doubling the radioactivity of the U.S. coastal waters. That is tentatively assuming numbers from TEPCO are correct. The researchers also commented they were surprised at how quickly the tracer had spread. The best way to react to uncertainty is to get informed as much as possible. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.